up guys so right now I'm headed up to uh, the shop but before that um, I'm actually heading to hardware store um, I have to get seven uh, 12 by 1.25 nuts uh, because my driver and passenger side motor mount I don't I won't have the nuts for them and then I'll also need two 10 by 1.25 bolts um, and uh, that's for the downpipe going into the turbo um, I also need to get a exhaust gasket however I haven't really looked into that yet so I'm probably gonna do that in just a minute but anyways I'm gonna get these bolts and nuts first and then uh, go try to find the gasket and then I'll be good to go um, that should be the only bolts and nuts I'll need uh, pretty sure I have everything else but I'm sure you know something might pop up obviously um, and then I believe the motor is supposed to get here today so that's gonna be exciting uh, I don't know when they're supposed to come um, I actually have no idea at all. They haven't called or anything, but apparently it's in Charleston right now. So anyway, just waiting on that and uh, hopefully it comes today. What's up guys? Okay, so I got some bolts and the engine just arrived actually like two minutes ago. Um, didn't film that because I was signing stuff, but anyways, here it is. Um, it's a lot smaller than uh, the one Jay-Z was whenever it got here. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this. And Oh, and I also got a little leveler for the... Uh, engine hoist so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier took off the front bumper um, to give me a little bit more room and so I don't scratch up anything and uh, yeah and hopefully the bolts that I got and the nuts that I got fit we'll see all right so here it is uh, here are the bolts or the studs that I needed to get nuts for and it looks like one of them is missing um, that's just my luck <laughs> but anyway so that's that and uh, motor looks super clean um, it has the compression numbers 200, 200, 200, 210. Um, so I believe that's pretty good. And it comes with the oil cooler, like I said. Um, these three studs, which are needed. And uh, it has all the other stuff. So T case, everything. So I'm super stoked. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see if these bolts fit. Okay, so my nuts fit on these um, 12 by 1.25. And then I thought these were also 12 by 1.25, but they're not. I think that they're 10 by 1.25. So I'm going to go run and get some uh, 10 by 1.25 nuts. And Battery died once again, but uh, like I was saying, got to get some 10 millimeter by 1.25 bolts. And then it didn't come with any belts on it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy some new belts while I'm at it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Then I'm going to head back and uh, most likely going to try to uh, put it in. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. I just uh, left Autos, or actually, I went to O'Reilly's. Um, I also went to Lowe's. Um, so, anyways, I got some some bolts, some nuts, and then I went to O'Reilly's. I got a serpentine belt. Um, I got a pump for uh, the fluids for transmission and uh, transfer case, and uh, also got some oil, just the stock oil that uh, that the Evo calls for, which is Mobile One 10W30 and then um, just some coolant and uh, I will say I never buy oil at uh, like the auto zone or like auto parts place um, simply because of how expensive it is um, but today I did it just because I had to go there anyway and I really didn't want to oh my gosh people are so bad at driving and I didn't want to go to like 10 different places but um, if you're buying oil if it's not like a specialty oil I go to Walmart because I kid you not what five quarts a little bit over a gallon of oil at O'Reilly's was 36 to 38 dollars and the same exact thing at Walmart would have been like 22 to 24 dollars um, so it's a huge scam but <laughs> anyways I just did it because like I said I would have been spending more money going to like a hundred different places so anyways now I'm headed back to the shop hopefully the nuts that I got fit um, and uh, hopefully the serpentine belt fits I'm going to put that on before I obviously put the engine in the car, just make everything nice and easy. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, uh, I'm over here by myself. Uh, my dad just left. And, uh, yeah, I just uh, took off a couple things. Uh, the bolts I got fit, serpentine belt I got fits. Um, so now I am about to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to try this, though. Um, it's, it looks like it's going to be kind of tough. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up on time lapse mode and uh, yeah, hopefully this isn't too hard.
All right, guys, so uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the uh, T-case and I'm gonna set it in there and then just once the engine's in, then I can bolt it up because it's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to get the T-case uh, in with the you know whole entire setup. So, um, so there's not that much room. Um, so anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna take off the T-case. I'm gonna see what happens, uh, see if it gives me any more room. Okay, guys, uh, it's in. And I didn't film the last part. I had to end up taking it out, taking off this uh, T case, and then I didn't film the rest of it. But it was a pain in the butt. Um, and I actually, I only got this side and then the uh, passenger side motor mount on. I still have this front one to bolt on and then that rear one down straight back there to bolt on. But it's sitting in there. It looks great. And uh, it was a pain in the butt. Um, next time I might be able to do it faster, but I will say it was a pain. Um, and I was doing it by myself, so that just made it any, even even harder. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video for tonight because it's starting to get dark, and my doggy has been in there sleeping, being bored. What's up, everybody? So another day, and uh, I'm headed right now to go and pick up some fluids. Uh, this guy, he's an Amsoil distributor or something like that. So anyway, um, he's able to... Oh wow, that guy almost just went. He's able to get some uh, some Anzoil products that stores don't carry. So anyway, I'm gonna go pick up some gear oil, some uh, T case oil, and uh, I think there was one other thing I was supposed to be picking up from. But anyway, that's that. Headed there now um, to go pick that up. Blitz is in the back just sleeping, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna be headed to the shop. Okay, guys, just got to the shop and uh, picked up the oil, um, AMS oil. I got some uh, synthetic manual transmission and transaxial gear lube, and then I got some uh, severe, sever, severe, whatever, something other for the T case. And then Blitz is in here chilling. Not really. We just got here, and then here's the car. Here's the motor, a little bit more light. Um, and uh, like I said, this uh, this motor mount's in, that one's in, and then uh, I just have to get this back one in, and then this front one right here on. So, gonna be doing that today, and then also gonna be putting in this T-case. Uh, the T-case weighs like 100 pounds, so it's gonna be a challenge. Okay guys, so I just finally was able to uh, get all of these bolts in. Uh, one of the studs was missing, so I'm going to have to find a new 12 by one25 stud. Um, but uh, I got all three of the other ones in. This now lines up perfectly. I'm not going to bolt it in yet. And that one also, I believe, lines up or it's almost lining up. Um, and then over here, all of those are in. Um, reason I'm not going to uh, bolt those in yet is because... Uh, I had to turn off the music so I don't get copyrighted, but um, the reason why I'm not going to bolt in those last two yet is because I actually have to drop this little uh, cross member subframe thing um, in order to get the T case in. So just not going to do that yet. And uh, also I'm going to have to unbolt this tail section in order to wiggle it in there. Um, and then lastly, I believe what I'm going to have to do is sort of move the motor back a little bit with the crowbar uh, by looking at a video. Um, in order to just make enough room just to get it in there. I'll show you guys underneath once we uh, get to that step But uh, right now I'm about to go get some lunch with uh, blitz and then uh, yeah, we'll get started on the T case Okay guys some bad news uh, took the little cross member off um, and uh, so far Bolted that up, which is just the the, the little case uh, But let me show you guys uh, what happened. Well, it didn't happen. It, it was like this um, pulled it off and these whole gear on the tail shaft is completely stripped I don't know how well you guys can see that but right there it's just completely stripped so anyways um, the actual differential itself looks all right um, doesn't look like it's it's messed up or anything I mean they're all there's just a lot of grease or you know grease on them but um the teeth look good so i don't know what happened to that but for some reason it's all destroyed so i just contacted the people um and uh it's gonna see if they're able to help me out um because obviously it shouldn't be like that um at all 
but everything else looks good so I don't know hopefully they're able to help me out and hopefully we can either get the new gear I don't know what that gears called I can't find it anywhere um, I can only find either like the differential or like the whole entire uh, T case and they're really expensive so hopefully they're able to help me out um, if not then I don't know I'm gonna have to do something but kind of sucks because I was hoping to have that in today so anyways I'll give you guys an update let you guys know all right guys so I've been uh, emailing back and forth the uh, to the guy and um, I think possibly we may just uh, he might just refund me a little bit um, that way I don't have to send it back and that way I can just order a new uh, ring and pinion um, this that's that's what this is called ring and pinion uh, this is the ring over here and like I said, I, it's not the ring is fine, but it comes with the pinion anyway. Um, and this gear is the one that's stripped and messed up. And this is a common issue with these cars, apparently. But uh, but yeah. So, anyways, hopefully uh, that'll happen, and then I could just order just basically just those two things, make it a lot easier, and then I wouldn't have to, you know, send it and then wait for it to get back and all that. Just takes forever. So. Um, just waiting on a reply back. I actually think that they may have just closed so I might not get a reply back until tomorrow morning uh, But nonetheless just kind of wait and see what they say and uh, and yeah Let's plots Good plots Good Sits Good boy Keep out Keep out Good reverse reverse Reverse. Good. Plats. Here. Good boy. Rotate. Hey, rotate. Good boy. Ready? Come on. Let's. Revere. Yes. Good, Revere. Good boy. That's a good boy.